In this video, I'll be talking about how to use redirect in Flask. So redirect is fairly simple. It simply redirects a user or someone on your site doing a request or an API or whatever to a different URL. So for instance, if they land on your homepage and they log in, you can redirect them to either the membership area or you can redirect them to the password uh, recovery page whatever you like but basically a redirect is a way to uh, send people to a next page from the server side so they don't have to initiate the request on that page the server will in a sense initiate that request for them so before I start writing code let me just show you the redirect function here uh, I'm only going to use the first two parameters location and code location is a URL and code is the HTTP status code that gets sent um, with the request or with the redirect uh, response. So uh, let me demonstrate that with some code here. I'll set up a Flask app really quickly. So from Flask, import Flask. And for this video, I'll need redirect and URL for. And then I'll set up a couple of routes. I'll say uh, this route is the index and I'll just have uh, header tags the index and let's see can't type and sublime is not helping me out okay so the index and then let's say members for a, a member area. And I'll wrap this in header tags as well. And then after this, I'll do uh, if name is main, and then run the app in debug mode. Okay, so let me start this just to make sure everything is working correctly. And app is not defined, I forgot that. So app is going to be flask, score underscore name. All right. And I named this twice. Okay, so let's try that again. All right, so it's running. And I'll go to the URL here, 5,000. So I have the index, and if I go to members, I have the members area. So the first example of redirecting is redirecting between pages in your app. So I have these two views, or two pages, you can call them. And let's say I want someone who navigates to the index to be automatically redirected to the members area. To do that, I'll use the redirect function along with the URL function. So redirect is going to take in a location for the first argument, and this location is a URL. So this URL needs to be the URL for members, and look at that, we have a function called URL for. So URL for, and then I just type in members. So you just need to type in the name of the function that the view is for, not the uh, actual endpoint, but the the function name. I typically name them the same, and in the case of the index, I just name it index. But um, I usually have them uh, be the same thing to avoid confusion. But they don't have to be the same thing, so just make sure you name it after the view function itself and not the endpoint that's in the route decorator. So I have this URL for members and this redirects. So this generates the URL for members, and then this will redirect the user to the members page. So if I save this, it should restart. And if I go to the index here, so there's no members and I navigate there, it redirects me to members. Now let me open up my developer tools and let's see what the network is saying when I do this. Run the page again. And we see I request um, the index here, and it gives me a status of 302. And 302 is typically what you use when you're redirecting someone. And then it sends me to the members page here. 
So I didn't do that request. Um, the server, in a sense, initiated it for me. And if I want to change the code, I can simply change it. Uh, it's the second parameter. So if I wanted a 404 as the redirect, which would be really strange, but I could do it. Uh, I'll do this again. I'll just go to the index. And it gives me this page here telling me you should be automatically redirected to target URL. If not, click the link. The reason why Flask does this is because typically a 404 is used for errors and not for redirects. But if I click on that link that was generated by Flask, it sends me to the members area. So typically, there's really no reason to modify the status code unless you have a specific reason. So just keep that in mind. So let me go back and it redirects me directly. And just one more thing, if you want to redirect to any URL, so instead of members, let's say you want to redirect to something that's off your site for whatever reason, then you can have something like this. So anytime they go to the index of my site, I want them automatically redirected to google.com. So uh, did it restart? Yeah. So let's see if it redirects me to Google. And it does. So typically, you wouldn't have these redirects as the first thing in the function. Typically, you'd have some kind of processing that takes place first. And depending on the result of that processing, you'll redirect them somewhere. So an example would be, let's say they're logging in. Uh, you get the, the post data for their login information, so their username and their password. You take that and process it so you figure out if the username is valid, if the password is for that username, and if it is, you can redirect them to a members area or you can simply redirect them back to the index with the session cookie set. Or if the password is wrong, um, you can redirect them to a password recovery page, for instance. So that's completely up to you, but just know that the redirect typically takes place after some processing in the view, and it doesn't normally happen right at the beginning, because if that's the case, you might as well just give them the link to the place that you want them to go in the first place instead of putting it in there. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.